Hey guys, today I'm going to tell you how you can implement ChatGPT into your Godot applications. It's very simple and it only requires few lines of code. So this is my test project and we can try it out by asking something. I will ask why is sky blue and after a few seconds we get a response. Here we go. It can even remember what you asked before, so if we say that's cool, it will remember that we asked about the sky before and it will answer accordingly. To achieve this I'm using a website called Aura.ai and it's completely free as of now so you don't have to pay anything. First we need to create our own so-called chatbot so click get started and name it. Then you can even add custom instruction to this chatbot that it will remember forever. If you want to use classic ChatGPT, you can leave it empty, but remember that you have to write at least one symbol, so I will write one dot. And that's all, just hit create bot and we are done. After that hit F12 and open the network tab and write message to this bot, so I'll just type hello. Then open this conversation item, go to payload and click view source. Now copy everything and paste it inside this data variable. You can change some settings like for example including history, so if you set this to false the chatbot will not remember previous conversations. Then you can change user ID, you can set it to any string and it will remember the conversation with that user. So I can change this to 1234AA for example, it doesn't really matter, it can be any string. You can make it so your Godot project generates custom user ID and it will insert it from variable for example. So you can do something like, like this, right? And then you can just set your variable somewhere here. Like that. So chatbot ID, we want to leave that as is. That's our chatbot that we just created. But we obviously want to change our input. So this is the message that we are sending. So instead of hello, I will just send this text that I get from line edit. So let's just say text. Now let's go ahead and open our browser again. And now we want to go to this headers section. Scroll down and find referrer this. So we want to copy this URL. Just copy it and then paste it right here. So that's sending the data done. Everything else here is just simple HTTP request. After the request gets completed, I connected it to this function called HTTP done all right here. And what we are interested in here is this variable called body. So this is basically how we get response from the server. We will get data that is very similar to this. So we get response, conversation ID and so on and so on. What we are really interested in is response. So this is how we get response from ChatGPT. So first we need to convert the data that we get into string, calling this function get string from UTF-8 and then we make it json by calling parse string and then you can get any variable from that json but we are interested in a response so that's why we get response so yeah that's all guys very simple and free i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll catch you guys in the next one bye <laughs>